part three thoughts. So part one was merchandise, part two was merchandise was sentimental stuff at the end. Part three was thoughts. Um where do I start? I'm going from what I remember, didn't write anything down. This let's get comfortable. Let's start with Universal. That was Dave. That was our first being in the trip. Universal was great. Let's get a little, a little situated here. Universal was great. Patrick was fun to meet. The Grinch. Just do it. Just go meet him. That's all I gotta say about the Grinch. Grinch. Fifth bump to you in a heartbeat. You you deserve all the credit in the world that you get. The guy, girl that plays the Grinch. Amazing. Um, cast members. From I Do Not Remember Your Name that did this. And guest services. Little things. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sentimental stuff on the pin. Um, the parade. Like everything Christmas related. Universal was above and beyond amazing. Um, yeah, I don't want to say, I have nothing but good things to say about Universal. Um, parades are great, shows are great, cast members are great, hotel was great. Food is where my downfall is. So, let's get real. We ate at Missos. Amazing dining. Everybody knew it was amazing. I love Mitzos. I have fond memories of Mitzos. Food's good. Wife got a fork knife and spoon grilled cheese that she didn't know what she was getting. She looked at it. She goes, what's this? This looks disgusting. And she absolutely loved it. Um, so next time we go back, we got lots to do in do Universal. Um, watching her just kind of get overwhelmed with the whole Universal atmosphere was something to be amazed by. Everybody's first time is overwhelming. Walking into um, Diagon Alley for the first time, walking into Hogsmeade for the first time, taking that corner to Diagon Alley and realize that you have went from Universal to Diagon Alley is unreal. It was my first time doing that and I was literally in a state of shock how well that just works and it just transformed. Um, having your first sip of butterbeer, biblical experience. Just a lot went right with Universal. So props to Universal and the entire staff there for everything they do. They're doing things right. The day after we left Universal to go to Disney, they were doing meet and greets on the streets with Beetlejuice. He was walking up, you could hug him. Um, two days later, Grinch was doing maskless meet and greets. And you could hug him. We got we we they they're moving forward and that's what we gotta do. We gotta start moving forward. And that's what they're doing. They're moving forward and that's awesome. Shame we missed all that, but that's awesome. Um the day we left, the wife didn't really even want to leave Universal. She knew she was going to Disney. We were going straight to Disney after we left Universal. Um Brian the bartender swizzle. Amazing bartender. Um but as we're sitting in the bay, debating, finishing with coffee, just relaxing, we're talking. And she literally goes, do we have to leave? I said, well, you don't want to? She's like, no, I want to because we're going to Disney, but this was fun. She doesn't do roller coasters. She doesn't do thrill rides, but she had a blast. So that means Universal's doing stuff right. Props. Never went to Disney. Totally different experience. Um, different regulations and everything else in place. Um, but still props to everybody that works at Disney. Um, people say Disney's is expensive. No longer as magical as it used to be. Genie Plus is killing the killing the product. Blah blah blah. JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. Um, no. 
people forget Disney is still a multi-billion dollar corporation. They need to make money. Shapec is not the problems for everything that you see. There's other people that are working on the Shapec that is causing the stuff you don't like. And Shapec's just looking at the numbers. And he says, okay, Disney Plus, $15 a day. And we have 100,000 people coming to park. If I get 50,000 people to buy it, that means, you know, that's $1.5 million a day or whatever. I'm just rattling up numbers. That would make it Disney Plus pure profit. Pure profit. That's literally what it is. What are you paying for? To keep the Disney Plus app up so it's, you lose 10% maybe. So it's like 90% profit. Um, Lightning Lane Plus. One of these is out paying is paying for this the fact for the system that works. So Genie Plus is a pure profit pure profit thing. It doesn't cost any more to stay in line and it doesn't that's it costs just as much to stay in line as it does to get in a lightning lane. Pure profit, but Shay picks the numbers and goes, hmm, it's good money. We'll make we'll make we'll make the shareholders happy. Um But somebody brought that to him, told him that was a good idea. And he and his people crunched numbers and said it's a great idea. So don't don't fully blame Shapex for everything. Do I like where the where the products went from an inside of view? Maybe not. Um Lane Lane Plus, Genie Plus. I'm not a fan of it. I did it at Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna tell you right now. We did Hollywood Studios for two people so me and the wife could get on stuff. And I know single rider lines weren't fully back yet. And waste waste of money in Hollywood Studios. And I'll tell you why. We did Toy Story Mania. Use it. Got right on. Saved us about 20 minutes. Um, Flinky Dog Dash was said 60, 70. I was only in a half an hour. Um, Star Tours was a walk on. Was with the beginning of the way for Lightning Lane. Uh, standby was 20 minutes. Whatever. Um, Rise of the to be bought on Lightning Lane Plus. Made that a walk on. That was at like a two hour wait. So if you wanted Lightning Lane, you're going to pay extra for it anyway. Um, Smuggles Run was like a half hour. Um, Tower Tower at Night was a walk on. Speaking of walk ons, um, Green Gods, I just walked on at night. Just to let you know. In, in Universal. I just walked on. I was on and off in 10 minutes. Um, Tower Terror was a walk on at night. Even though the Lightning Lane booked up super early. Whatever. Um, so the reality is, I had no use for the Lightning Lane, the Genie Plus Lightning Lanes at all. Um, it saved us a few minutes, but nothing crazy. Um, the only one that really saved us was Rise of Resistance because it broke at the end of the day, but we were able to get on, we paid the extra for it. Um, so, um, I recommend buying the Rise of Resistance Lightning Lane. I cannot recommend the Genie Plus Lightning Lanes. Not at all. I was not a fan. Um, so, well, you don't know how to use it. No, I know exactly how to use it. I've done all my research on it and messed with it before I bought it, and it was still a waste. Like, I could have worked out to her twice in a half an hour. If I wanted to, um, when I was there, um, I didn't even try um, rock and roller coaster. Didn't feel like it. I was more just spending time with the wife. That's what literally what this entire trip was. But I wanted to get a couple of my rides in. Um, so Animal Kingdom cast members were great. I mean, so much fun in Animal Kingdom. I kind of wish I booked a full day in Animal Kingdom instead of splitting it the way we did. I always do that and I always regret it. I don't know why I do it because I never see much in Animal Kingdom that makes me want to go, ooh, look, I need to do this. Um, so, next time. We'll book a full day. We call the shows. Call Lion King the first like, month we got there. Um, Cock cocktails. <laughs> so it's tough to be a bug.
I mean, we pretty much have anything to do ever. It's like I said, time with the wife is more important than trying to get all the rides and I wanted to. Um, Magic Kingdom. Um, didn't really worry about rides more than the day. At night, I got took care of a lot of things. Make no way for the merriest happy hour. Merriest, <laughs> crap. Very merriest after hours. I caught a lot of stuff that we wanted to ride. And that's how we caught a lot of stuff we wanted to ride. Frozen said 70 minutes. It was like 45. Um, the only ride that we probably waited longer than the wait time was Killing the Majority Safari. Um, it said 50 minutes when we got there, but I'm pretty sure it was like an hour, 10 hour, and 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure it was over an hour. Um, it's up to you. We didn't really have anything else to do. It was our, it was our leaving day anyway. Um, food wise, gosh, I don't even know where to start. Minnesota's was great. Two some sucked. Um, Be Our Guest was amazing. Kona was good. The bread pudding from Kona was way too much. But oh my god, it was so good. Um, Bowman's Breakfast Buffet is amazing. Dobelina's is amazing for breakfast. Let's see, we eat. Ground Derby was really good. Ogus, Ogus has experienced such, such great drinks. Get the jet shoes. One of the fuzzy Tom Tom. Wife liked it. Um, we had so much fun in, in Ogus. Uh, I'll tell you, Boathouse, so good. Uh, wine Bar George is a great place to relax, have some wine, have some small, some, some, some snacks. The Edison was amazing. Great atmosphere. Trying to figure out what else we ate. Quick service at uh, Saratoga was really good too. Got the pizza, got some desserts. They were really good. I enjoyed the quick service at. Um, we both got round to round to wraps. Those were amazing. We got the cheeseburger pies and the cheeseburger and the spring rolls, pizza spring rolls, cheeseburger spring rolls, and those. Those were good. Flashbacks of where we ate. I know I'm missing one. I don't know what I'm missing. We had beer garden and fish. Oh, we had nine dragons. Um, nine dragons was probably a downfall. Um, the food was fine. Nothing against the food. It was fine. Um, but it's it's Chinese food. It's the expensive Chinese food is what it is. Um, food and wine was going on, did a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, Tipsy Ducks and Love is by far my new favorite drink. Just lots of stuff to sink in. I still have the photo pass pictures on my computer. So many of those. The photographers were great. Um, they did what they did. Um, Sometimes you need later in the evening you may have felt rushed because it is late and they want to go home as much as everybody else did again people um, But you asked for special stuff. They had no problem doing it and some of them suggested special stuff um, We got some really good pictures of stuff that they that they thought of and then Nice pictures of stuff that we thought of and I saw people take pictures of stuff that we We never thought of um, So all the photo past photo people are great Outside that, yes, people are still people. No matter what you do, you can take them to the best place in the world, and it's still people. Um, we saw many couples having problems. We saw rude customers treat two other customers. I mean, it's just the nature of the beast. A fight actually broke out the one day we were at Universal for the Christmas parade between customers. People are in the park over a spot to watch a parade. So people are still people. People still suck. You make out of everything you do the best you can. And we had times that it was a struggle. Like you get that tired cranky and we know that's a thing. 
But overall, we kept a really positive attitude about everything. Um, but we both just can't wipe the taste of Tucson out of our mouth. The food was fine. Service was brushed. I threw away our, our appetizer. It was chocolate almond bread that I was dying to try because it was so good. And I had a bite of it. And by the time I sliced one slice of it, one slice of it, my entree was already at a table. And then by the time we got done with the entree, they're asking us if we want dessert. I got done. I eat fast because I'm used to eating fast. My wife doesn't. But then I got done with mine, they're asking if we want dessert. So it felt right. And at that point, we would just say we don't want to be here anymore. Um, so we didn't throw a lot out of way. It was a shame because it was food that was really good. Um, inside of Tipto, we found that in Disney, though, because I'm all over the place with these things that are in my head. Um, the place in Animal Kingdom that serves the buffalo chicken chips. This is an FYI. Keep in mind. Um, that place. My wife went for buffalo chicken strips. Chicks. Buffalo chicken chips. And a bottle of water. That's all she wanted. The buffalo chicken potato chips and a bottle of water. That's literally all she wanted. As she's placing order, the cast member at the stand goes. Then proceeds to tell her that she is the 50th customer for the day. And her entree is on the house. So her chips and her water was free. Pretty cool. Just to let you know. Keep that in mind. You may get lucky. You may get a little pixie dusted. Um, but yeah. It was a trip we needed. To sum it up, it's just a trip that we both needed. We needed to get away for a few, a couple weeks. Um, now it's time to go back to the grind. I go back to work tomorrow. She's been working all day today. And we will hopefully be back next year. I contacted the travel agent we used. Um, small World Vacations. Shannon helped us out a lot with any questions and stuff I had. Um, a lot of things were changing, so she was in and out of the office um, a lot. But things were changing in Disney every time you blinked. So it's, so I get it. I get it. When things change, you need to you need, you need to be in and out of the office. You need to go and see where the changes are. Um. But yeah. So next time someone tells you amusement parks for kids, or they, you know things are no longer magical. Um, you're not going to enjoy your experience when you go because you're an adult without kids. Don't don't listen to them. We both enjoy Universal drastically. My wife doesn't do thrill rides. I do, but I skip a lot of them to spend time with her. Um. The only other one I rode was Green Gods because it was new. I wanted to ride Velocicoaster, but I ran out of time. Um, and then watching her eyes just light up when she got to Disney and seeing things for the first time. It was just an experience in and of its own. So, go enjoy yourself. If you're going, if you're going, if you're going to the holiday, stay safe. But have fun. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Take it easy. Peace.